This week at the lake, a program broadcast by Lake Monticello Owners Association own broadcast group. We're so glad to have you with us today, and I think you'll have a little bit of fun with this program. I have uh, two guests with me. They are co-chairs of the Old Farm Day event, which will be October 3rd from 9 to 4 at Pleasant Grove Park in Palmyra. I have with me Mike Fiesel and Susan Beatty. So welcome. Well, thank, thank you. you. It's great to be here. Um, I, you're both residents of Lake Monticello, correct? That's right. Yes, five years. So I assume neither of you are originally from Fluvanna County. Mike, how did you get involved in Old Farm Day? Susan made me. <laughs> That's sort of true. <laughs> uh, you know, Old Farm Day is a, is, is a very interesting thing here, and, and I'd always been kind of interested in it, and Susan came and said, would you help out? And, you know, she's bigger than me, so I had to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you both met outside of the lake, I believe, yeah. so, so how did that get you started? We were both involved in the Fluvanna Leadership Development Program, and uh, uh, had met through that. We've, we've run a program together there and done some things. And so uh, she decided that uh, we should work on this. I spotted a good talent when I saw it. I needed, <laughs> I needed help with the public relations and advertising, which, is, which I've been doing. So it was great to have somebody professional and very talented to help. Great, great. Now, I have to tell you, uh, I'm going to have to miss this year, but I love Old Farm Day. I love all of the activities that, that are so educational about real farm life in Virginia. But this year, you have um, another purpose, an Old Farm Day, and what's that all about? Well, the Old Farm Day is a fundraiser, and, and it's a fundraiser both for the Fluvanna Historical Society and for a new thing that we hope is coming called the Farm Heritage Museum. The Farm Heritage Museum is going to be exactly that. It'll be at, uh, at uh, Pleasant Grove Park, uh, and it will be a house, a, ho a place to put all of this old antique farm equipment that is so cool that I've actually had a chance to see already, and it's really kind of neat stuff. And so hopefully the old farm day this year will put it, us over the top towards being ready to get the Farm Heritage Museum started. Awesome. So why do you think that's important? You know, the the Farming is the, the absolute central heritage of Fluvanna County. This is what the county was all about for hundreds of years. Uh, and kind of it's gone away and people don't really see much of it anymore. Our kids don't see it. Uh, my kids have probably never been on a farm. And this is a chance for them to actually see how this stuff is done. And I'm really kind of excited about it. I also think it's important for the county as a whole that we have this. This is a, another tourist draw that will bring people and money and, and activity into the county. Uh, I actually think it's really pretty cool. Well, it does sound cool. It really does. Um, and I know a lot of the old farm equipment is going to rack and ruin wherever it is. So you're going to use part of the proceeds from Old Farm Day toward the museum. And I know you've been soliciting donations for over a year now how else are you going to raise money well we just actually had a fundraiser a week or two ago at Thistlegate winery uh, and uh, people came and tasted wine and ate snacks and listened to good music and had some, and bought stuff and, and participated in raffles and we raised what thirty six hundred or thirty eight hundred dollars. There may still be a little bit coming in, but it was pretty close to four thousand. Yes. Um, so right. there's also a, a fair amount of money that's available in grants, and in fact, that's the reason it's so important that we raise the money right now through Old Farm Day. There's a matching grant we have until December to raise enough money to get the matching grant and the matching grant is pretty significant and it will be a big help towards getting the Farm Heritage Museum going. I think we're gonna make it. Great, great. So how much money do you need to raise in total? I think that that would be a question for Susan. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, we haven't put a total dollar figure because we have to get the building up first. We're fortunate in that Savannah County has already made a good donation. Uh, $10,000 was allocated in the budget uh, in the uh, ongoing capital improvements grant a couple of years ago. They're, of course, getting the land, and they will eventually run the museum when it's built. So we need to get enough to have plans drawn up, to get site plans, to start to talk to architects, put together the planning of what goes into the museum and the narration, you know, to explain to people exactly what's going on. Perhaps make up some, or start working on programming, because it's mostly to be an educational thing for, the, for our kids. So there's a lot of work to be done there. So we're hoping our initial goal was to reach $100,000, and that will let us get this first phase well underway. From there, then we'll have things to show other major corporate and foundation uh, grantees or grantors, and we can bring it to being built as quickly as possible. Good, but, but you don't want to offer a an amount at this time. Just Not, I really, it's too early in the game to really know, and, and uh, I have worked in museum planning projects before, and at this stage, without knowing the full extent, we're expecting what we're hearing is we have the John Mays collections are promised to us, but there are any number of other people in Fluvanna who have equipment that they, you know, have said, well, gee, maybe I'll donate if you really get this going. So. We're not sure exactly how large. It may need to be bigger than we'd anticipated or you know exactly what the costs are going to be as we get into that planning phase. So yeah, I just hesitate to do that now. I don't want to you know make it sound too ambitious, but I don't want to undershoot it either. So right. stay tuned because <laughs> we have a website, www.oldfarmday.org. I keep that aside <laughs> made up for yeah. that that you'll show later. Any information as we get it will appear there. And, I, and the Flu Review has been very, very nice in giving us stories as we've come out. They announced a grant that we got recently. So, uh, yeah, news will be posted as we develop it, but we don't want to jump the gun. All right. Well, um, in other words, you can use all the help you can get right now. Absolutely. <laughs> to meet the match, yes. because that's, that's really that's a, a big good match. So where will the museum be located? The museum will be right up near where uh, the, the main house is, the Hayden House. At and I think we have a graphic okay. that will show that. Uh, the, the, the county has very, very generously given us access to the site. And uh, it's, it, it's, it's going to be a great attraction, both the Hayden House and the, and the museum. At the Old Farm Day, you'll be able to find it because several of our volunteers are staffing a Heritage Museum booth, and that will be right on the site that the county has told us would be the best location for it within the park. So look for those folks. They'll have a lot more information about the museum and ways that people can help take part. Great, great. So you um, mentioned that... Um, there's a lot of things stored right now, but but before we approach that, so how did Old Farm Day get started? That's the place to begin. You, you know it is, and it's a great story. Uh, a guy in, here in the county, John May, who's now 93 years old and very spry and lively, about 50 years ago decided some of the old farm equipment was just sitting out in his neighbor's fields, and he didn't want to see it rot away. And so he started asking his friends and neighbors, can I have it or can I buy it or whatever? And he started collecting it. And frankly, at the beginning, I think some of the stuff just came to his field and sat out in the field. <laughs> uh, but some, of, some people got together and started building him some barns. And he now has four barns uh, absolutely stacked to the roof with old farm equipment, some of the coolest stuff you've ever seen. About 20 years ago, somebody said, hey, we ought to actually show people this stuff. And Pleasant Grove had just become a county property then, and they, they were able to get permission to just haul their stuff over on <laughs> at Pleasant Grove and, frankly, put on a show. Let's put on a show. <laughs> uh, and, uh, 
and they did, and, and it's, it has grown from there. This is the 20th annual Old Farm Day. Congratulations. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and now it's much more than just the old farm equipment. The old farm equipment's still there, but there's a whole lot of other stuff as well. So uh, how much does it cost to attend Old Farm Day? You know, this is really kind of expensive. It's five bucks a head. Five dollars for five. everybody? No, and, and the kids under 12 are free. So How's that for a So a family can basically come to for Old ten Farm bucks. Day for 10 bucks. For 10 bucks. Awesome. And, really and, awesome. And, 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 the, and get a full day's worth of entertainment, and there's free stuff there. For example, you can get eye and wait, audio wait, no, screening. Wait, 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 no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. Just play. We're okay. going to get to that. Okay. So, so first and foremost, of course, is the old farm equipment. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to show some slides of some of the old farm equipment that's available there. So let's see. Uh, well, that's John May, who you're looking at there. John right. is, John is the, the guy who kind of got this whole thing started. He's 93 years old and uh, still farming, still doing, you know, doing all this stuff, and quite active. So if it hasn't been shown, let's see a picture of John's barn, or some pictures, I should say, of his barn. That's oh, actually, that's actually, those that's, are the newer things that are going to be there. That's actually from last year's old farm day. Those are yes. actually old, old, old yeah, tractors. Old. Wow, they uh, look th great. Uh, and many of them are in great condition. Uh, so, the, and it's actually all kinds of eras. There's uh, some, well, that looks maybe a little newer, but. I'm not uh, sure exactly what that is, but uh, I can't see it well enough. But uh, it, com it comes from all eras. There's some of it that is really, really old. There's horse-drawn stuff. There's uh, plows. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh look, at, look at the old cars. Aren't those yeah, cool? Uh, there, the, there's a lot of old cars there. They're from the 1930s all the way up through the 1950s. I don't know if 50s counts as an antique it car. It absolutely does It doesn't count. seem like I it saw, should. Uh, <laughs> I saw a car from the 60s with an antique car too. license plate I did too. on it the other day. One, one of the great ones, hopefully, they'll show you is a 1957 Chevy. I think that's which, the next slide. Which I think is just one of the coolest looking cars. There it is, the 57 yeah. Chevy. Awesome. Um, which is just one of the coolest cars. But again, that was that was the car I had dreamt of getting. So how oh, could that yeah. be an antique? Really? <laughs> yeah. So is that car your favorite piece of equipment that's there? No. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it'd be really hard to pick a favorite piece of equipment. I think that John will be bringing one of the things that I think is really kind of neat. This was, we saw this in his barn. It's, it's a wooden structure, and it took, I couldn't figure out what it was, but it turns out you put a dog on it, and the dog starts walking, and it's like a treadmill. And as the dog walks, it's creating power that you can use for all kinds of things. Uh, you, you can attach a butter churn to it, or you can attach an ice cream maker to it, or all kinds of things. And I couldn't, but I said, John, how do you make the dog walk? And he says, well, we tie him up there, and the thing starts moving under his feet, and he doesn't have any choice. <laughs> and I said, John, couldn't, could, couldn't you just at least put a stake up there so he'd have some incentive? I mean, that'd get me to go do it. You know? <laughs> but I guess old farmers didn't have to do that. They I just... <laughs> guess not. I guess not. That is, I've been to a lot of farm museums, and I don't recall ever seeing a piece of equipment like that, so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat piece of equipment. So um, we have a big new stage at Pleasant Grove. Do you have anything planned for the stage? There's all kinds of entertainment planned. Uh, I mean, one, one of the groups that's coming is the James River Cut-Ups, who I actually saw just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, uh, they're, they're a great old-time bluegrass and gospel group. They're really tight. They, they, you know, they're, they're right on. They're very, very talented. They're, they're a local group. So is that the slide that's on, or is that from, that's from last year? That's, that's from, from last year, year and, and that is not them. That's a gospel group that I am planning to have back. We're not 100% confirmed yet because it's a non-professional awesome. group, but we're expecting to have but them the back. We want them. The pictures yes. we show next year, they'll have a wooden floor for the musicians <laughs> yes. and a nice, more permanent canopy over top of them. There is no canopy. No canopy. Oh, no. that's right. Yeah, right. so that's 
hoping for that's good a, yeah that's a problem yeah, but there's a, there's yeah, some more groups water. coming rockfish yeah. gap is coming which is a, a kind of a bluegrass americana type group uh, another local group uh, there's also going to be a variety of gospel and choral groups I think there's probably going to be some some dance groups. I'm hoping, yes. Again, uh, we're still like cloggers and square dancers and you know things like this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of entertainment. And again, this is all for your whole five bucks. No, no extra charge. For no the extra entertainment. charge for the entertainment. <laughs> Such a deal. <laughs> well, that sounds great for the adults, but what about the kids? All kinds of kid things for the kids. Uh, the, the I mean, one of the great things is the barrel train. My grandkids <laughs> love the barrel train. Isn't that fun? Uh, it's it's basically for the little kids. It's actually, the, it's literally a train made out of very colorful barrels and the kids yeah. get in it and ride around and uh, they have a great time with it. There's... Uh, uh, and that is no extra charge. No extra That's charge. Right. Um, you know, there's going to be all kinds of things for the kids. There, there There's corn shucking, there's potato digging, there's uh, building scarecrows. Oh. The, one of the great things that the kids really love is the pink cotton lady, mm -hmm. the cotton, uh, cotton candy, cotton candy lady. Ca pink <laughs> cotton candy lady, who uh, who dresses all in this very bright pink outfit, there looks like a flamingo. There she is. Oh uh, my goodness! Uh, dresses like a flamingo, and she takes this cotton candy and she swirls it into all these shapes and things, and the kids get a great kick out of watching oh, her do yeah. it. And then they get to eat it, which is yeah, such a deal. Even <laughs> And, and that costs a little bit more. Okay. Well, yeah, the cotton candy. <laughs> the the, the food tough. you get. But you can watch her for free. You can and watch her for free. She's a professional dancer. She's fabulous. Oh, wow. One of the other things that the kids are going to love is that all the first responders are there, and they bring their fire trucks, and they bring their ambulances, and all their equipment and things like this, and the kids get to walk around and see all this equipment and oh, meet the yeah. firemen and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so they're, 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 there's a lot of fun for the kids. Cool, cool. Well, it sounds like it's like an all-day affair. So is there any food available? Food? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, th th there's all, all the typical uh, food for this kind of thing. There's chicken and there's hot dogs and there's hamburgers and there's fish and, and, and barbecue. Uh, there's all kinds of snacks like uh, uh, funnel cakes and kettle corn and uh, snow cones. There's drinks. i got to tell you. If you don't find something you like here, you just ain't hungry. I mean to tell you, there, there, there's anything you could want. And again, there's a, there's a small charge for the food. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got yeah. The vendors have to make their money. Vendors have to make their money. So I like the old-time crafts. Mm -hmm. um, what have you got planned for that this year? You know, we, all together, there's like 100 vendors at, at Old Farm Day. Wow. Uh, 100 vendors and, and, and exhibits and things like this, uh, we've got, you'll see things like blacksmithing and chair caning, uh, I, weaving, pottery. Uh, pottery. Quilting. Quilting. Oh, good. That's uh, my favorite. Yes. Uh, I mean, just about anything. Uh, last year, there was a guy who was making violins. Uh, oh. You know. It, it, I it, hope he'll be back. Hope he'll be back. This, this whole lineup is not final yet, but... There's going to be plenty of stuff to see. Oh, my goodness. It sounds wonderful. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think that's all. I think we have more pictures. So I've seen advertisements re recently for an apple pie <laughs> contest. I have volunteered to judge this contest. Yeah. I think they lost my application. <laughs> I tell you what, I want to do this. Well, I talked to an NBC 29 announcer <laughs> This morning, he said he got to judge it one year. So there's hope for you. Well, I, I hope so, because this apple pie baking contest is oh. great. I'm actually trying to get my wife to, to enter it, because she's a great apple pie maker. Now, now here's the picture of what you need to enter, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I, 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 I look at that and I say, how can those people do that? You know, but they, they pick those things up and throw them. And it, it's, it, that's actually sponsored by the Farm Bureau. And it's a very popular thing. People really enjoy watching this. I and there are, there are age categories. So and there's age categories. Oh, against good. the teenagers. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was very impressed. I don't remember seeing it before, but the senior kissing booth. I volunteered for that one, too. And they, they lost my application on that one, they too. They lost your application? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think they, oh, did. I think they thought that I would cut into profit somehow so, by being so there. So what does it take to be 
to work the senior kissing booth? Well, you know, actually, the, the, they tend to be people who are known locally. Eric Hess right. did it last year. I remember uh, there are other people. You know, there's people that people want to hang out with, and unfortunately, I'm not one of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, one of the things that I've been you're, you're you're missing one of the good contests. Which one is that? One of the great contests is the animal sounds contest. Oh, now I am missing that because Marvin Moss and I have gone head to head for a couple years now. We've been back and forth with each other over who had the best animal call, and I am so sorry to be out of town for that. Now, what's your favorite animal call? The one I generally compete with is a uh, pig. Okay. Okay. But I'm very good with a duck and a goat as well. Well, people get a real kick out of watching this. And this, is, this too, is di different age categories, oh, yeah. kids and adults and things like this. This is very popular. This oh, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Um, so one of the things that I like at, at Old Farm Day, at Pleasant Grove, period, is just in the last year they've opened up the museum in the house. So I assume that will be open for everybody to go in and look as well. It will. And, and, you know, if you didn't get there last year when they first opened it up, this is really something you should do. This is, this is a great exhibit about the history of the county. And it's, yep. and, and it's a neat building, too. It is. Yeah. And, and they have it upstairs and downstairs. And there's even an elevator for those of us that can't do those old stairs. Those are the original stairs, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. You can see yes. the wire nails. <laughs> I've in walked them. up them. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I think you have a barn photography contest. Um, a county old barn contest, yeah. and and uh, this is going to be fun because people get to walk around and express their opinions about it, and uh, I, you know the the actual prizes won't be awarded till after right. the uh, the old farm day. But uh, we're looking but, forward but to But you'll this. have the entries up on display, mm -hmm. weather permitting, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. people will be able to see them. That's the deadline wonderful. on that one is September 30th. So anybody seeing that, you know, soon, oh. get out there. The weather is gorgeous. Get a picture. Submit it now. September 30 is the deadline. But then they'll be displayed at Old Farm Day. Very nice. Very nice. And I assume that the rules are on your website. Too. Yes, they www. are. www.oldfarmday.org. Old Farm <laughs> so I understand also that attending Old Farm Day can have a positive effect on your health. Uh, it can. Now you can. <laughs> <laughs> the Lions Club is bringing its band again this year. Uh, they do audio and visual screening for free. Uh, you know, like uh, like I was saying earlier, that's that alone is would cost you more than the oh, five dollar cost yeah, of the really? ticket so this is a great deal and it's a great service by the lions club so so let me get this straight for for five dollars per adult you get looking at all the old farm equipment looking at all the old timey crafts you have all these different vendors that are more than willing to sell you things you can't find anywhere else mm -hmm. um, you get fun for the kids you get to enter an animal calling contest or just laugh at the people that do enter. Do we talk about the entertainment, the music? Your, we talked about entertainment, music, and now you can get your ears and eyes streamed. Yes. I mean, that's wonderful. What a deal. $5 an adult. What a deal. It is. And there's, there's also chances to enter raffles. There's various raffles and, and things going on. So you with can win prizes. with prizes oh, yeah. that you can win. A uh, friend of mine just won a, uh, an Afghan, which was Ooh, quite nice. lovely at the, at the Thistlegate fundraiser. And that's one of the types of things that we'll be looking at. So it's really oh, kind of neat. Wonderful, wonderful. So do you need volunteers to help oh, with Oh, dear this? God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You really want volunteers? We really would like volunteers, <laughs> and, and, and we need them to do all kinds of things. You know, uh, man booths, uh, collect tickets, help people park. Uh, you know, it just goes on and on. And almost anything that you'd be interested in doing, we need help with. Okay, so who does a volunteer, someone who says, gee, I would love to volunteer for that, Maybe I could get one of those fancy T-shirts. There you like go. Susan it's such a deal. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the easiest ways is to email info at oldfarmday.org. 
So, so the email address is just info at oldfarmday.org. Yep, That's Old Farm Day, one website. word. That's right. Okay, and there's a phone number they can call. It is. 484-589-5405. No, it's 9405. Oh. Whoops, uh -oh. have we got it wrong? It was wrong in the other flyers. Too. Oh, it was. Okay. okay. So you might want to double check it. Okay. So it's 589 Nine four zero five. zero five. I'll tell you what, that one email is much more efficient oh, for yes. at this to so we've got it in writing. So everything will be on the website. That's traffic central. So you'll okay. find a volunteer thing there where you can go through and get the complete description. We've got a list of different kinds of jobs and people can just send us an email. We tell them, give us your name and contact info. Tell us when you're available. You can take a two-hour shift. You can spend all day. We have jobs during the week before helping set up oh, and right, after yeah. maybe Clean doing up. some cleanup. Yeah. So any time that you're available, let us know. We welcome them all. Great. That's great. So if, if someone doesn't have email, can they look you guys up in the phone book if they're really desperate? Sure. I mean, I, we're both in the phone book. Uh, Give us a call. We'll, we'll get them in the right place. Another place to check is with the Fluvanna Historical Society because oh, yeah. they actually are the sponsors. The original founders of Old Farm Day were members of the Historical Society's then called Museum Committee. So they have continued to put it on all these years and Old Farm Day has become kind of an entity in its own. But the a historical society still will have people there who can answer questions or refer them to the right people. Awesome, awesome. Well, it sounds like great family fun. I really wish I could <laughs> go this year. This is so frustrating. Uh, but I think it sounds like you're going to have a great old farm day. Uh, pray for good weather. Oh, it's yeah, rain or that, shine. That I can do. I will certainly <laughs> pray for good pray weather. For good weather, yes. But uh, we're expecting a good crowd this year, you know, several thousand people. Uh, and uh, you're going to see all your friends there. It's, uh, it's a great place to get together with people. Lots of things to do for everybody. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Thanks so much uh, for having us. This is great. Anything that we forgot? Leave your dogs at home. Oh, leave your dogs at home. Okay. <coughs> that Good is right. a, for health and safety reasons with that many people crowded in one place and little kids yes. running around. And we all love dogs. <coughs> We're all pet lovers, but we really can't have them running you know, around with that many right. people. We can't So leave sure. your dogs at home, but everybody else? Everybody come. else yeah. is welcome. Awesome. Thank awesome. you very much. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching This Week at the Lake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our Old Farm Day program. Uh, this is the second program for this season. And we hope that you will keep coming back to watch more good programming from your channel, 977, This Week at the Lake, Lake Monticello Broadcast Group. This is Ida Swenson saying so long. <laughs>